Hello Aries, welcome to your How They Feel About You reading for this week. So let's go ahead and have a look at how your person feels about you, Aries. Hope you're all doing really well and if you like this reading, please do click like. Don't forget to subscribe if you love my stuff and want to show some support on my channel. Now just so you know, I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, all details are in the description box below. All right, the serpent, a sly and subtle approach is needed. Your person's probably stalking you online, looking your stuff up on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is. Wherever you are, they're probably looking you up. Choose your words carefully. They're probably feeling quite intimidated by you, Aries. Okay, your person obviously wants to impress you. So choose your words carefully. Is telling me that they're very careful by what they say because they don't want to offend you, that they don't want to upset you. They want you to like them. And next up, the mystic circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. Basically, they think the world of you, Aries. That's kind of coming out. Mystic Circle, your abilities will be enhanced. They believe that you are someone very special indeed, that you are someone on top of your game, that you've got your life sorted out, and they want to be a part of it. All right, let's go ahead and see what Tarot has for us in regards to how your person feels about you, Aries. Let me know if this resonates. What it feels like to you. Does it feel like it's your messages? Does it feel completely wrong? I'm interested. All right. Next up we have the High Priestess. They believe that you are very intuitive, insightful, maybe even psychic. Okay. So <laughs> that's why, um, you know, and they probably feel there is a subtle connection between the two of you, very much like a telepathic connection or that you just feel each other's vibes, that you feed off each other uh, energetically, that you kind of think of each other at the same time. They're about to text you and then you text them exactly at that moment or something along those lines. Okay, the High Priestess is a strong connection. The Serpent, you know, saying that um, a sly and subtle approach is needed. They're really into you. They want to know all about you. They want to know what makes you tick. They really want to get to know you better. Next up, we have King of Wands, which is fire. Exactly you, Aries, okay? So King of Wands could be the masculine. And if you are the masculine, that would be you. If you are the feminine, your person identifies as a King of Wands, okay? So it's almost like they are your perfect match. King of Wands is someone who is a natural leader, King of Wands is someone who's dominant, a very dominant alpha male type vibe that is probably very attractive to many females because they go for the alpha, don't they? The alpha male or the King of Wands is someone that you might find very much to be your cup of tea if you are the feminine. All right, and by the way, he goes after what he wants and he always gets it. So if you are in his sights, he intends on getting you. Three of Swords, your abilities will be enhanced. They really want to be there during the thick and thin phases of your life. Aries, this is someone who really wants to be a part of it all. They want to know everything. They want to know why you're single, why you are kind of out there mingling on your own. Shouldn't you be snapped up by now? But you're probably still dealing through, you know, some kind of heartbreak. You're healing from something, from someone who did the wrong by you. And they can probably see that and they perceive that in you. And they probably just want to be there for you. Maybe you've even confided in your person and told them that you've been through a lot. And they just really empathize with you or sympathize, um, depending on whether they've been through that or not. They just really want to be there for you. They can see that you are, as a fire sign, the alpha female or male. And they really want to 
help him let your guard down just a little bit be the feminine be be your child self and open yourself up to them just a little bit put those walls down and open up that is really what they want they want to see some emotion and they want to see some you know softness in you and i feel that that is the point where they feel that they are truly in love with you a decision that needs to be made this may be a love decide of some of you but not all of you okay so you know a subtle approach is needed the high priestess and a decision they probably perceive that you have a choice in love or you have choice of your you know whoever you want to be with because you're probably most likely like the queen of wands or the king of wands here you know where you're very attractive and you're very out there and people are really admiring you and they can see that you're gorgeous and you're amazing at everything that you do okay because that is the aries energy you strive to be the best in whatever it is that you're you're trying to do and so to have the choice card there, it's telling me that they want you to choose them above all else, okay? They want you to choose them because having a choice in love is a very difficult thing to do. You've got one one here and you've got two two there, two double numbers saying that you are actually very in sync with each other like if they're feeling down you're going to start feeling that too because you're feeding off each other's energy with the garden and the king of wands and the sphinx your person really wants to get you away from it all they really want to get you away from the the um you know i guess the stage they want to get you off there and they just want to carry you off and put you in some beautiful environment where you can totally open up to each other and really bond okay that is the vibe that i'm getting they just want to sweep you up and take you away from it all there he is if that is not you that is the one that you're thinking of okay and three of swords i feel that he's been or you've been through a very similar experiences i almost feel that your background especially when it comes to love and relationships and dating you know whether you're on tinder any kind of dating app or whether you kind of like been single for 10 years because you've gone through a really difficult divorce or whatever the case may be your person is still healing because your person is a forever person. When they're in love, there is nothing that is going to take them away from the one that they've chosen. And they want that from you. Okay. And for the Three of Swords to be there in the mystic circle where you are each other's world, I feel that they're kind of really ready to take that on. All right, let's keep going and see what the Gypsy Oracle has for us as well. Aries, like I said before, comment below. Let me know how this resonates, what it means to you. Are these messages your messages? I always am interested in personal readings. You can always reach out to me. My email address is in the description box below and my website is there too. So we have reunion. So this could very well be a reunion now if it's not a reunion of you know the physical it could be a reunion of the souls like a twin flame or a soulmate it means that you are seeing each other again okay after a time of not seeing each other for a while okay it's like hey you know like i remember our connection and i think it's pretty special okay now that's not always the physical. It can be a soul reunion where you know each other from somewhere, but you can't pinpoint it, okay? It's almost like you look familiar, your voice is familiar, I feel your vibe is familiar, but I, I literally don't know you, okay? That would be a soul recollection. We have the scholar again, like I said before, being an alpha, it's really difficult to not feel intimidated by someone like that. Okay, at first it's like, wow, they're out of my league. 
But once you get to know them, you, you kind of know that they're a normal human being like anybody else. They just need to let their guard down a little bit. With Scholar, again, it's saying maybe you or your person have your guard up just a little bit. Okay, and you're not really open to any new relationships or if you're already in the relationship, maybe you're not really sure whether you trust them or whether they're your actual person. Like I said, once they start dating you and investing emotionally, especially being someone on top of the game in life, like a fire sign, like Aries, your person, you know, may may want you to just let your walls down a little bit, show a bit of emotion towards them, give them a little bit of softness, and that may open you up to a deeper form of love prison. So it may be something that your person has been wanting for a little while with you, Aries, okay? They may have been waiting for you to open yourself up and just to let your guard down a little bit. So it's really just about... You know, them wanting to know, are you a human or are you something supernatural where I literally cannot reach you? You know, your person is feeling a little bit down and out because they really just want to know that you are somebody that they can connect to on a human level. And because they feel the energetic, they feel your vibes, they feel the connection, they feel that they've known you for a really long time, even though maybe they just met you. But... They feel that they they just can't get that point across. They really just want to whisk you away from it all and, and just show you a bit of love, just the two of you, intimacy and closeness, um, so that you can actually connect and deepen your connection and love. All right, Aries, that's how they feel about you. Let me know. Does it resonate? Does it feel right to you? Does it answer your questions? And as always, I send you love. Peace and light. Bye for now.